previously on Let's Play Amnesia The Dark Descent. We found out that Daniel, the man, the main character of this game, finally found all the pieces of the orb and assembled it with no problem whatsoever. But what does that mean? Oh boy. You better find a place to hide. You have no means to defend yourself. Oh shit. Somebody's here, and they're not happy. Oh, shit. Look who's here. Somebody's not very happy. that guy come in here for? What a piece of shit. Okay, well there's still an important key here, I would imagine. But where is it? I would imagine that since we came in here now, it's not even going to be in here. monarchs looking for etchings and counted. Nine different kings from all over Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. Oh boy. Boy, that soothing music isn't so soothing anymore. Well, before we go into the machine room, let's... Oh boy. This probably won't be very much better, but let's try this out. The strange letter frightened him but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. Well, if being frightened gives you comfort at the same time, I don't know exactly what is very soothing. Oh, great. This ought to be just wonderful. Let's go in here. At least it's kind of normal. A tinderbox. It's like... Uh, there's some weird stuff in here. Better not be one of those you need to find a place to hide rooms because there's not really any places in here to hide. Oh, get over here. <laughs> Didn't really mean to throw that like that. So this mirror's getting darker in here. I don't think that it was just me. I don't want to lose the sanity too much here. That'd be that'd be a little bit bad. Okay, got an idea. <laughs> I don't like these rooms, especially the dark ones. Let's just uh, light a candle. Got a little bit of light. Just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna close the door. love to keep my sanity in a room alone without anybody else. Now, is there anything that I need? Oh boy. Letter regarding the discovery of an orb. To my most trusted student and friend, Johann Weyer. 
The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of the orbs I've been looking for for the last 20 year, 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodrama described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It was as it was told about. An underground Mithraic temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Allstadt, investigating one of the antiquated trails, when I finally found the cavern. I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. Shit. There's another, uh, another page. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also become my greatest fear. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and fetch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me. It bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but unfortunately, or but fortunately, they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through the valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief, thinking I would be spared. Suddenly, a blue shimmering light engulfed me, and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing ember gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance as I joined, and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground, gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange, but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The Guardian had taken the orb from me, but still, until this day, I fear its return. Sometimes I lay awake at night, listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day, and I still haven't been able to write about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest in ongoing research in the, into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Altstadt. Your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Yikes. So that didn't sound like it was a very comforting story for him. Over here? Anything at all? No? Alright. Well, out we go. Please don't let there be something out here. Whew. Nothing around the corner. Okay. That's good news. Is that lantern oil on the ground? I think it is. Oh! Oh no! that all about? The cracked window panes are held together only by a weak wooden frame. Well, if that's the case, I'm going in here. rather gruesome. What the hell is he doing in here? Obviously cutting some shit up. Sounds pretty messed up to me if you know what I'm talking about. The milestones of human anatomy. Looks like this guy was quite the uh, quite the woodsman and quite the taxidermist. Man, that is a creepy ass statue. I am not a fan. Oh boy. That room's half open. Ugh. Dead bird. Sling with a severed head. That is a really creepy looking rabbit statue thing. Yikes. I'm glad I was not around here while this shit was going down. 
or anything else for that matter. Let's see, anything inside the drawers? No. Tender box. That's always good. We got eight of those now. That's that's good. I like that. Oh god. Oh wow. That freaked me out. It's a whole bunch of human skulls. Is there anything important back here though? There's gotta be something. Come on. Come on, skull, get out of there. Nothing in there. <sighs> hey, what's here? The Anatomy Frontiers. January 9th of 1658. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they prove less of a hassle to acquire. Yikes. Sounds pretty creepy. Well, since we just found a nice pile of skulls inside of somebody's cabinet drawer in their desk, what exactly was this guy doing in here? Or what wasn't he doing in here? Well, the only way for you and me to find out is to stick around for the next episode. Hopefully we'll kind of shed some more light on the issue and figure out what exactly this dude was doing with human bones inside of his uh, inside of his workbench. Anyways, your host AM1534 saying goodbye for now. See you later.